My name is Eric and you're watching Gmodism. Today we're going to format a USB drive. So I'm gonna insert it in the computer. So on the computer we have the file explorer. You can of course go into the USB drive and make sure that you don't have anything on this drive that you need to save. Because when we're formatting this drive everything will be gone. Right we're done with that so go down to the Windows flag right click and then you will select disk management right. So disk management will take a few seconds to some minute uh, to load up so wait for it to load up so when it's uh, loaded up you can see here we have all the disks on your system you can see the size 14 gigabytes you can see the name micro and there you have uh, d colon uh, so we go back to file explorer here you can see it's d colon usb drive uh, it's 14.9 gigs if you check here it's 14.9 gigs we know that it's the d colon that is the usb drive if you select the wrong one you might delete something that you don't want to delete right so what do we do we right click it and we click format uh, when you go to format here you can see some different options here on the first option here we have the name of the drive uh, you can name it whatever you want so here on file system we have ntfs we have fat32 and we have xfat so i'm going to explain the differences on these different file systems now ntfs is what uh, windows hard drives use this is very compatible with windows and is a very efficient system for storing files if you want to utilize the drive to the max you want to have ntfs uh, size however ntfs won't work for mac systems and won't work for most uh, printers or it's not really compatible right uh, fat32 is the most widespread and most compatible of any file system but there is a problem with fat32 the max file system you can have for FAT32 is 4 gigabytes. So if you're gonna transfer some pretty big files on this uh, USB drive, you can't use FAT32 because you can't have a file that's larger than 4 gigabyte there. So uh, that is why they made XFAT. XFAT is more compatible with different types of systems than NTFS and it doesn't have a file size limit. For some very old devices, you might have to use FAT32 anyways, and then it's impossible to basically have a file that's larger than 4 gigabytes on the drive. So for most intents and purposes, XFAT is the safest and best option to use for most people. But if you're gonna have a USB drive that's gonna transfer documents to very old computers and stuff like that, and the files are always gonna be below 4 gigs, well, FAT32 is your friend. If you want the max storage capability and you're only gonna use this on Windows computers and laptops to transfer files, NTFS is the right choice for you. I'm gonna go with XFAT and the allocation unit size should be set to default. There are different pros and cons of using the other ones, but I have another video explaining that. So then we have the option perform a quick format or not. Uh, and if you check perform a quick format, uh, it will be very quick to do this formatting and that's very nice and all. Uh, but if you do a quick format, if any bad actor gets your hands on the USB drive, uh, they can potentially see and restore old files that have been previously stored on the USB drive and they can restore it. So if you're giving this uh, drive away or if you previously stored uh, very sensitive information on the drive. Now this will take longer time but it's definitely usually under 30 minutes. You, so uh, it's not going to take a long time right. But if you want to be safe uh, with the information you definitely need to do that. Uh, I didn't store anything important on this before so I'm going to do a quick format. So then we get this little prompt. Formatting this volume will erase all data. Backup. We already checked that. This is your last warning. We're gonna click OK. And there we have it. It's as fast as that. We can click Explore and we can see this is now the USB drive. Isn't that quite nice? Formatted and ready to use. So it's as simple as that. Please leave a like, that helps me a lot. You can subscribe to the channel for our Tech Tuesdays. Every Tuesday we have a new tech video and the next video might be the solution to the problem you're having. If you want to help me, you can of course join the channel. That helps a lot. This is your host Eric of Jumadism signing out.